What's up guys, Starving Rona here, and it's been a while, but I'm back with another video. And today I'm at the Shugo Supermarket in Duluth on Venture Boulevard. It's probably about five minutes from my house. And it's a new spot in here called Kumai Ramen. It's basically one of those, uh, you know, something like, like Super H Mart. It's a, it's a grocery store, you know what I'm saying? A lot of Asian stuff. And on the other part, they had a food court. They got, um, I think everything is not opened up yet. There's only a few things that's opened up. But it's gonna be really good. And one of the things that did open up in here and I found out through Yelp is Kumai Ramen. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I'm probably gonna get Tonkatsu. They got a couple different choices. Um, once I ordered and everything, I'll talk about the different choices and why I decided to stick with Tonkatsu. But I feel like that's my measuring gauge for ramen. And you know, looking at the prices, everything is actually under 10 bucks. Like I think this is a regular basic Tonkatsu is about 8.25. So price point's pretty good, so let's see if the quality matches the price point. Sometimes it's not always like that, but we're going to find out, so back in a minute. Ordered, and I ordered the uh, regular Tonkatsu. I'm like, you know, let's keep it simple. Let's just try to get a gauge of where they're at. So I got regular Tonkatsu. Uh, pro tip for this, though, it was $8.25. Um, I got a Coke. That made it about 9 bucks. so I'm guessing a dollar for a can of soda. Kind of on the high side, but they do offer free water, so that is a plus. Um, pro tip for you though, if you do come here, make sure you have cash because it's a ten dollar minimum to use a card. I didn't know that, so I don't carry cash. So you know, normally that wouldn't be a problem. Um, I normally would order a little bit more than that anyway because they actually have buns. But I'm like, you know, conservative today. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to do some shopping. Um, so just if you're gonna spend under ten bucks. Just have cash on you, you should be good to go. If you don't have cash, be prepared to spend at least 10 bucks. Um, so, I grabbed a menu. This is go over the menu with you. I took some pictures of it. It's right here. Um, man, price-wise, not bad, man. Like, uh, I think their most expensive, their most expensive bowl of ramen, man, might be um, $8.25. That's about their, that's, no, no, I'll take that back, $8.65. And that's uh, the Nabiyaki Udon. So, uh, ramen-wise, man, I mean, oh, <laughs> the beef is going off. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. The food came out really quick, really quick. Maybe less than like five or something minutes. Not bad at all. Um, like I said I was, before uh, the last video got cut off, um, their most expensive bowl of ramen is about $8.65. That is the Nabiyaki Udon. Um, their cheapest bowl, I keep saying that, I take that back again, their, uh, their most expensive bowl of ramen is $8.99, which isn't technically ramen, I'm guessing they're using ramen in the sense of soup and noodles, but that's the signature beef noodle soup, uh, spicy beef broth, beef, carrot, Chinese baby cabbage, green onion, and it's served with thick noodles, that's about $8.99. On the lower end, from what I can tell, is about about $7.75. Um, as far as toppings go, they'll give you garlic, green onion, fried onion for free. Uh, bean sprouts are going to be about $0.75. Cent. An extra egg is a dollar. Uh, corn is about $0.75. Cent. Uh, kikuragi is about a dollar. Uh, bamboo shoots is a dollar. Um, three pieces of extra pork chashu is three bucks. Uh, three pieces of chicken chashu it's two bucks. Uh, Kakuni is uh, two dollars a piece. Extra noodles for one fifty, and extra soup for about three bucks. So, I mean, to be honest, man, it's a pretty good price point. Pretty good price point. So, what I'm about to do is, I'm about to go ahead and dig in. Um, once I do that, <laughs> then I'll be back and I'll let you know uh, initial thoughts and uh, you know. Does lower price equal better? Or does lower price equal lower quality ramen? Uh, some people, you know what I'm saying? And just, you know, shout out to Guy Wong, proprietor of Miso Izakaya, LaFat, you know what I'm saying, Tan Tan. He'll tell you, and he's, and he's a big proprietor of this right here, major advocator that Ramen is a very intensive, time intensive process. I've made ramen myself and it took me a solid 24 hours. I stayed up late making that ramen. It was worth it. 
but a lot of work goes into making ramen, you know what I'm saying? So that's why, that's why you know, normally the price that they charge, you know what I'm saying, it equals the quality. I mean, a lot of other factors go into that, you know what I'm saying, as far as like, you know what I'm saying, location-wise, food costs, other stuff like that does play into it. I mean, you know, you should pay because it takes a, it takes a lot of effort to make ramen. So I'm about to see now, does a lower price point equate to good quality still? So, but now I was like, you know what, you need to see this. Flip the camera around. Really? Really? Hey guys, before I dug in, I just wanted to give you guys a look at it. Naruto. Shout out to the seven Hokage. Um, I had to get an extra egg, so that's what we got right here. That egg looks great. And uh, we got that Shashu on deck. Oh, yeah. Broth looks good. Corn's on deck. Everything else looks good. So now, I'm going to give you guys a look at the ball. Now I'm about to dig in. All right, guys. Right in the mouth. Okay. Initial impressions. I'm gonna have to say, lower price definitely equals a little bit lower quality for me. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not horrible, okay? Trust me, I've had worse. Um, it's just that when I get some costume, that's kind of my grading stick for a ramen place. That's normally what I start out with. This bowl of ramen is huge. But the broth is just not giving me that that lip smacking, quirky unctuousness that I that I get when I go to Tantan or when I go to Umaido or Hajime, whatever you want to call it. I'm just not getting that. Like I would be sleeping if I if I can get a bowl this size. From time to time, dude, I'll be like, I'll be so happy, so happy, so happy, because this bowl is huge. Just look at it; it's freaking huge. It's humongous. But the broth just is too. It's just not enough. It's not enough flavor into it. I don't know if they if they didn't cook it long enough, or they got some sort of method where they try to. Or it's just somebody that, I mean, because it could be who have made a broth that day. You never know, you know what I'm saying? Because I've went to um, show you Izakaya and some nights I've had amazing ramen. And some nights I've had ramen where it was just like black. And this ramen is just like black to me. Like it's just, it doesn't have a lot of flavor. Um, the egg is great. Let me say that. The egg is great. It's not all bad. The egg is great. Um, the chashu is good. It's nice and tender. It's not tough. It's not tough by any means, you can see. Really? It's not bad. Um, has a good flavor to it. The noodles are springy. The noodles are nice, but... Man, look. Tonkatsu. Not even just tonkatsu. Ramen itself is about the broth. And it just isn't doing it for me. I don't know what else they could have done, or maybe it just need. Maybe I didn't stir it up. But I don't know. I don't know what else I could have done, or what they could have done. But I mean, for the price point, it's not bad. But I mean, if you're paying a lesser price for a not good bottle of ramen, did you really save anything? When I mean, you can pay eleven to twelve bucks to guy at Tauntaun and get a freaking amazing bowl of ramen and freaking lick the bottom of the bowl clean. So, I mean, and it's just regular Tonkatsu. I mean, they got like a lot, they got like garlic Tonkatsu. They got like a lot of Tonkatsu. They got like a lot of different ramen. So, you know, this is just my initial you know, an offering. I was in the supermarket at, oh, shout out to this supermarket. I don't know what they're doing. They must be remodeling or something, but if you're in the Duluth area, come here and get produce. Everything's 30% off. Everything in the store, groceries, and whatever is 30% off. So I basically got like 
a whole bag of onions, shallots, green onions. I got some some pork and chicken gyoza dumplings. And I pay like three bucks for all this crap. So I'll probably be back tomorrow. It's actually pouring down right now. So I'm gonna dig into this bottle of ramen. I'm gonna try to see can I get a to-go box because I still got other places I need to go at. But I figured I was in here. Why not try the ramen? But I mean, if you come in here, I mean, give it a try. I mean, like I said, it could be, I mean, I'll definitely be back because it's right around the corner from the crib. If you're not exactly sure where it is, if you've ever been to Duluth and you've been to the Studio Movie Grill, it's right across the street. It's a, it's a new Korean barbecue spot over here too. Gotta try that also. But yeah, this is directly across the street from Studio Movie Grill in Duluth on Venture Drive. Um, if you're in the area, come give it a try, man. Like I said, it could, it could just be a, a day where the rum, I mean, the broth just wasn't up to par today. You know, so that's gonna do it for me, man. I'm gonna try to uh, finish this bottle of rum and I try to get, try to get a to-go thing or something. Maybe it needs to sit around and get better. I don't know, but um, yeah, man. So I said, appreciate everybody for watching. Um, if you followed the channel from before when I was doing a lot of videos, I appreciate you for hanging around, not unsubscribing. I, th I really appreciate it. Um, yeah. You're a new subscriber. Um, be sure to check me out. Um, the Sovereign Ronin on YouTube. That's where you are here. Um, check me out. I'll, I'll drop a. I'll drop the link to my Yelp in the uh, description. And uh, you know, just follow my other social media. The Sovereign Ronin on um, Instagram. I haven't really been that active on there, but you know, I'm at a transitional point now where I feel like I can be more active online and with the uh with the channel which i'm going to try to do this year um so yeah once again appreciate you for watching um like the video subscribe to the video if you got any foodie friends in the atlanta area share the video